day at Crafty Chems, it's Nikki here, aka Car Center Cat, aka Car Center Cat's Life, and today we are going to be making a uh, card. I'm doing a year, year long series of uh, making cards because I like to challenge myself, and um, so I thought it'd be fun. So I thought it would be fun. <laughs> to do a card series. I like making cards. Um, it's quite a passion of mine. So. so this is what I'm going to do and this is watercolour paper from a uh, watercolour pad I've got. So as you can see it's out of a pad and I've just cut it down a little bit. and. Uh, I'm going to be using liquid acrylics this time, it's not going to be watercolour. If you can hear a noise in the background, it's my um, fan going because it's really hot here today. <laughs> and um, yeah, oh boy is it hot. So anyway, <laughs> I am going to do, um, this is a technique that you often see, uh, you know, just doing stripes and things along the card. So I want it this way round. Give me a little bit of a shake up and blue. So, not quite prepared, but <laughs> this is going to be <clears throat> another quite quick card. Probably won't be quick by the time I've done it. I'm thinking of uh, I like my cards to be in this orientation. Um, so that's what it's going to be, but I will just pop it this way because uh, it's just easier to work on for me with the camera there. Sure, I'm hoping because it's so um because it's so hot here, I'm hoping that um it won't dry up too quickly. I want to do stripes so um. Pop this in here, it's a bit sticky. We've got another one. Yeah, so I'll just pop that there. Open my yellow, pop that one there. Because it's already yellow, so that's good. Pop this one here. See if I get a bigger brush, get a nicer brush stroke on there. I was going to use that one, but I'm not now. I've changed my mind. This is quite a good one. Well, now I can't do that, can I? Because the pot's too small. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to pour it out. I've got an in betweeny. Let's see if I got an in between brush. I sort of have an in-between, it may be a little bit too um, soft there, but we'll give it a go. I like these watercolour acrylics because they are awesome in colour. So we're just going to see, let it play what colours we get and now my battery's running out which is awesome <laughs> so that would be my luck wouldn't it mm. oh well just a bit of orange there would you just give me time to um, let it let it dry while I recharge the battery? It's annoying, folks. That's annoying.
Okay, so I'll let that dry and then recharge my battery. <coughs> okay, so I've uh, now got my battery charged and uh, we can carry on. <laughs> carry on, carry on. So what I've got to do, of course, is cut down this paper here. May do some more mixed media on this tape a bit later on, but hey ho, we'll see. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut this down. Um, what I've got here is this cardstock, which is um, eight and a quarter by five and three quarters folded in half, which is a four and an eighth by a five and three quarters. And then I've just got the matte in black, which I think will pop the colours on this nicely. So I'm just going to cut this one down. So this mat here is five and a half by three and seven eighths. So this one has got to be five and a quarter. Which I think is to there. And we'll just check. it when that happens <laughs> it slips out from under your hand like so and for the width it's going to be three and five eighths so what I'm going to choose is um, what I consider to be the nicest colours on here in five eighths, to take it to there, measure it twice, four, five. It'd be awful to measure that and then get it wrong, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, so this is going to go on here like so, and then on there like that. Get that wonky donkey. Just fraction out. Let's do that again. Hate it when that happens. So the longer edge is up here, so if I just pop that there. Must have slipped when I was cutting. I hate that. Hate it when that happens. But I've got to get it square, otherwise it will irritate me. <laughs> okay. Right. So what I'm going to do is um, put a sentiment on here now. On oh, my very bright <laughs> card. What I've got is this uh, Concord and Ninth stamp set here. And it's a script stamp set. It says perfectly penned. So uh, what I'm going to do is write on here, happy birthday to you. See what what it's like. I thought I'd do lower script, lowercase and uppercase and you know just mix it up a bit. So we'll just get these out and have a look. Hey J P P Y, we're gonna help your day go by. Musical natural high. Sure.
get them everywhere now. Tell you what, I'll come back when I pull them off. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the line along uh, here with the birthday because it's just a fraction too wide to go across the card in a straight line. So um, that's what I've decided to do. I think at some point I'm going to have to get myself a smaller uh, stamp block as well but this is uh, one of my smaller ones so I do have another one like this that's clean but I don't know where it is <laughs> one day so uh, yeah so I'm just going to follow this line along here it's uh, it's really hot here now Not quite 30 degrees yet, but we're getting up there. It's so hot. <laughs> so if I stick to the uh, mat, you'll have to apologise. <laughs> I'll have to apologise. <laughs> it's a joke. doing now is just going over the ink where it didn't quite um didn't quite ink up properly because of course it's a watercolour card <laughs> it's obviously a little bit more difficult than that and I'm just going to go around the edges here just in black as well so the white cardstock isn't showing Pull the tape off and assemble the card. Like so. It is bright, isn't it? <laughs> and um, I think that's about it. 